All right, real quick before qualifying, uh, new paint scheme for the rally cross car, and uh, I like it. I think I did a fairly good job on it, so hopefully it brings a little speed, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, you never know what you're going to get with rally cross, and I am the number two guy, so should be okay. Everyone's going to make it to the main. I'm just qualifying on full fuel, and uh, we're going to try to put together a decent run. But top guy looks to be about a second faster than me, and we're starting off really good as I miss turn one. I guess that's final turn, not turn one. So... Um, pretty much a lot of people get rally cross wrong. They think they've got to sit here and pitch it and slam on the throttle and just be as sideways as possible. And, uh, not really the case. I mean, you can throw it around, but, uh, all you're going to do is create a lot of smoke. And usually... Smooth and precise is uh, the fastest way. Um, I don't even use the uh, handbrake. You can usually get away without needing it. Only we'll use it in like major emergencies where I need to get the car to turn. But also only second fastest, so who knows what the fast guy's doing. Locked it up, trying to get a little too much on entry. And it's all right, we're second right now. And that's on full fuel. So we'll call that uh, successful and we'll see what everyone else ends up doing. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. plan on trying to do a full season of this, but week 13 right now, so we're just going out, getting used to it, and then I'll have to relearn everything when the new wheel shows up, hopefully tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I feel a little better with this uh, brake system, as long as we're braking on pavement, and uh, I don't know. I think I might have a little more speed than I usually do in these, so. But, still a second off of Fast Guy, and this looks like it's going to be a very spread out split. There was only two splits. So, um, not, not too many people to compete with. And we will be doing heat races, no matter what. I don't think it ever skips heat races. It might put us all in the same one, though, but doubtful since there's eight of us. All eight people are here, and it looks like one person hasn't completed the final lap they need to. Which is why we're sitting around, waiting. But, uh... Yeah, I will uh, put an ad right before the heat. I think we're going to be watching heat race number one, because it's not going to throw us all in one. And that should be entertaining. Five lap sprint. The flag. It's over. And then we'll try to survive the initial turn. And uh, we got four cars in each heat. Wait for everyone load up and try to find a decent camera. Go with that. So FedEx car. And we got a Subaru. And Bug. So we got all three 
makes in this one. Waiting on the final person to show up. It appears this guy just likes to waste all of our time. Nope, this is a different guy. Please join the race so we can race. So, the line into the first turn, third place has a bit of a disadvantage. If we look at Chase Cam, if I can get around to it. Because you're kind of cut off there. Uh, first place has got to be careful not to go too far left. And we're about to go green. I'm just going to leave. You know, green flag, I'll green try flag. to remember to turn it back on. So they're off. And the guy from last place gets a great start and runs into everyone. Well done. Let's just take a look at that again. Let's uh, go chase camp. Yeah, I mean, he kept going left, and you got two cars to your left, and he's headed for right here, so... Uh, looks like he's already out of the race. Uh, and that is how he did it. Well, at least he'll be starting behind everyone. I'm sure he'll be bowling. Uh, leader is going to walk away with this one very quick and easy. And uh, the poor Volkswagen slowly coming around, but he essentially finishes where he was going to. So yeah, uh, very pointless, boring heat races. And uh, at least it's only five laps. And I just remembered we can throw the Joker lap on here. So we're going to do that. Joker lap on so that we know. And we'll just put Carburant's on as well. Nope, that makes it way too wide. Carburant's off, just Joker. Joker being taken by second place. <clears throat> Leader's got a 14 second lead and has yet to do the Joker lap, which is normally shorter on the American tracks and then longer on the European tracks. Really, it doesn't matter. Um, it does the same thing. But uh, just adds a bit of strategy if you're fighting traffic. And good news for all of us, uh, Wilcox has disconnected, so we're not going to have to worry about him. He uh, got his two wrecks in and called it good. Leader's coming around on his final lap. We'll take the Joker this time. Very easy to somehow just keep turning left here and end up in the grass. There's this odd bump in transition that just kind of throws you off. A leader will take the Joker lap, and then we will wait for Meadows to come around and finish. And everyone finishes where they qualified, and the heat races were 
fairly pointless. Always going to happen with a four car heat, but. Second place is finished, and we are waiting for this guy. And then I'm going to load in quickly because. <coughs> um, there's. Uh, the way I do starts in this is put it in first and let the revs come up. Got three cars. Wait for the fourth. You can only take the Joker once during the race. Remember, you can't take the Joker before your first time past the finish. Let's see what we get. Green flag, green flag. Five, five to go. All right, guy to our left got a fairly decent start. I got a very bad first turn, but we're okay. Just got to be uh, smooth, not throw it away, hit my marks, and uh, start second in the main, which will be middle of the front row. So there, it wanted to go left on me. I don't know how I make it do that, but I do, and hopefully I don't hurt myself with that. So, I was thinking about doing the Joker there, but we'll be okay. I'm going to do it early for sure, so next time around we'll do it, just so the guy can't get ahead of me. I just floated over the jump. Just go nice and easy through this section. Looks like he cut the track a bit there. Not too big of a deal. If you get a cut track, the uh, slowdown time is so long that if you haven't done your Joker, you just do the Joker lap and the slowdown as you come into it clears your penalty. But can't cross the white lines, so. Got to be careful of that. You completed the joke lap. Got that out of the way. And we will just uh, continue to hit my marks. Get some of the dust off the window. And I forgot to turn that back on. Sorry. Let me try to do that real quick without wrecking. Gonna lose some time, that's okay. We got some time to spare. Get a lot in there. It's okay. You've got two laps to go. Two to go. Shift down, slam on the brakes, get it to turn. Ease into it off of here. Take it nice and easy. Shark turn after you get it to start turning. One more lap to win. So still doing 41s. That's okay. I didn't even see what the leader was actually doing in his heat race, but I'm sure in the 40s most likely. We've got an 11 second lead. Joker will not be able to get him and he's already done his Joker lap, so Take it nice and easy into the final turn. And now that we've done that, we can go to the real race. You won. You deserve that win. Well done. All right, so 
let's look at what the leader did in his, yeah, he's 40.5s. I mean, he might have been shorter fuel. Wait, no, that was practice, sorry. Yep, 40.5s. Um, so now we're starting in the middle of the front row. So we've got to kind of aim for the two little spots right up ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put session best lap on. And uh, this is where it can get a bit bumpy. Quick add and then we'll get going. Only take the Joker once during the race. Remember, you can't take the Joker before your first time past the finish. Green, green, green. Here to go. This time, bar. Leave space. We all get around safely. Third place lost out. And we got three Fiestas up front. Almost had some issues there. He's got a little wider entrance into that. It's helping his exit. I need to try to do that. Bad entrance. The next car's the leader. Almost off the jump. Guy behind does go off the jump a little. Little cut there. We're fine. Just need to be better. There it did that pitch to the left. He's just way better off the corners. I'm going to follow him, that way the people behind can't pass me. Because getting behind someone can really slow you down. And since it's a shorter lap, uh, it allows you to do it early. European tracks, you probably wanted to do it later, and there's that fucking spin out. Alright, well. Uh, completely screwed myself. And congratulations. Absolutely pathetic. Alright, well, let's try to catch back up to them, and then they've still got the Joker to do, so... At least we're quicker than them, but I've really put myself behind. And I'm going to essentially have to pass them twice. That was very disappointing. Don't know how the weight transfers like that, but it just... I need to just go slower through that section not worry about it too much. Hopefully they do the Joker before I catch him, but I think they're waiting till later. So, um, yeah, that's gonna suck. Oh, one of them's went off though. So hard to pass in these. Please do the Joker, please do the Joker, please do the Joker. Thank you. 
We're still, we still have to pass him, but um, that at least makes it only one pass that we have to do. And we get to slow down. You got a penalty for cutting the course. You got five laps to go. Try to clear the slow down a bit here. Not clearing. It's clearing a bit. Break early. And we got it cleared. Alright. You got a slow car on the right. Now I just need to pass him as I give myself another fucking slowdown. I don't I don't know. Very bad. Shooting myself in the foot over and over and over. These guys are very slow. Well, not very slow, but slower than me. So I should be able to pass them. And especially if they do a cow mating ritual and we get wrecked. So he wrecks us both and we're broken. And that's what happens when you put yourself back behind people. All my own fault, and uh, thank you to Shaw for really fucking me there. Car's broken now. And now he's going off track, and I'm sure he'll just run into us again. 48.45. Right. Clear on the right. Dude, for fuck's sake, take a normal line instead of looking like you're going off track and stopping. Holy shit. And fuck me. We're blown up. <laughs> you completed the joke a lot. What a joke. But, my own fault. He fucking lands on this guy. Of course, we get wrecked trying to get around him. Then next time, he probably gets a slowdown there. He goes off track. And then cuts back across track. I mean, that was on me trying to get around him, but for fuck's sake. That was painful. I'm terrible. Lots of work to do in this series. And then the engine blew, so that was from running into him when he was pretty much stopped there. Oh, boy. Lots of work to do. But, um, yeah, my own fault. Should have been an easy second place finish. And instead, it's a seventh place. Seriously, Spotter, shut the fuck up. Let's see what all happened out there. Well. Holy shit, what line was that? I mean, at least my wrecks were from me being aggressive trying to get around to people, not uh, people plowing into me.
Yeah, this series is going to make me angry, but we're going to be running it and trying to get better at this. And hopefully the new wheel will uh, help me out a bit. But, um, yep. All of that was my fault. I mean, the first incident with the four car wasn't. That was him just running someone over. But, uh, is what it is going to take me a long time to uh, get comfortable with these so and there you go hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah I'll try to be less angry and wrecky next time thanks for watching